welcome. I am Death Tron Hammer. And this night, we begin our Let's Play of one of my favorite RPGs, Shadow Hearts. With me tonight, as always, is our two team mini, the Armchair General, once again. <laughs> anyway, we decided to Let's Play an RPG, this rather obscure game, Due to the fact that A, it is obscure, and I want people who haven't had a chance to play it to at least see it, and maybe want to go out and play it themselves, and the series. And, as well, I want to give a thanks to fellow Let's Player H.C. Bailey for showing us that a Let's Play of an RPG is more than possible. The uh, Let's Play Archive always says, never do an RPG, and uh, we can see now that it can be done if you edit it properly. So, we're going to test our skills now, and uh, let you enjoy a great game. Through and through. Do your thing. was actually in development for the PlayStation 1. However, when the PS2 came about, they saw an opportunity to be able to up the graphics a bit and put what was going to be a four disc game onto one easy disc and save costs that way. with this game is that it takes place on Earth, as you saw, Rowan France in that headline, and the year, 1913. It's Prepare already support. past 2300, and it's still a long still way a long to Feng Tian. Bad voice acting. Major Tsuji, what is this about? Why does special train in the middle of the night to escort this girl to Japan? She looks wow. pretty ordinary to me. Hell if I know. There's no telling what the big shots in Tokyo are thinking. <laughs> Next time I see you know who, I'll ask her, okay? Guns out of ammo, dude. Uh, it's you. Yes, Roger Bacon. I'm honored that you remember me so well. You can't escape. <laughs> Come along quietly, sister. Ah, a new actor in our play. Taking his arm cut off is okay in my book. Uh -uh. 
much less that. Random battle. Random town. So, this battle mechanic is different. Which I utterly failed at my first time here, but... There's a slight delay with the TV I'm noticing. I had that before when I played at the house, um... Alright, that's something I'll have to get used to. You're that's... just rusty. No, it's... I had the same thing when I was playing Covenant, um, on another HD TV. There's a slight delay. Come on, where is it? Son of a bitch! Come on, man. There you go. There, leave. Mana Leaf. Thera works as like a potion standard RPG. Mana Leaf is also kind of self explanatory there. MP. And here are our friends, the dead soldiers from before. And here's our rude hero. So I'm guessing he's gonna like climb up the ladder and go after that dude. You know, the usual. And, nope, makes his own exit. <laughs> nice panty shot. You know something funny with Mr. Bacon's voice here momentarily. Also, I'm going to demonstrate what makes Yuri, or our rude hero here, very unique. Fusion. Yeah, there is. To be safer, I'm not going to aim for the critical zone then in the future. Also, Bacon's voice has dropped two octaves in, from the FMV to the battle. Are you sure that's not the Japanese voice actor? Well, it is. That's weird. Yeah. Why didn't they have the English voice actor do both voices? Very cheap. Yeah, I'm just gonna aim for it. Out of habit, I keep aiming for the critical. But, in the... Revelation! And oh. I'm dead. So it's a show battle? Yeah. I hate those. It makes me feel like a, a fool. I know. You actually try and then it's like, oh crap, it's a show battle. Ugh. But I get the last laugh. Did you just punch into his skull? Yes! That's badass. <laughs> oh, damn. Then you jump backwards off a train.
First impressions are everything. And I think that was a good one. The world map is the standard, well not standard, it's not running around as per the normal world map, it's literally a map, it's, you've seen this in other RPGs, it's another way of going about. Yep, here's the menu, our root hero, and here's help if there's any information that you need. And there's also library, if I so want, that tells me about monsters, and NPCs. The man we just fought, Roger Bacon, who was actually a real man in history, and people believed he was actually the second coming of Jesus Christ. So we begin. Next stop. Apparently she can't do anything. Okay, I'll do that voice in my head, okay? Apparently our hero has dealt with voices before. STUPID VOICES! If you're supposed to protect her, why would it stop you in the middle of the path when you're losing valuable time? Uh, crazy people are crazy? Oh no, she eeked. The fact that she's not dead just probably told me she just saw something scary and then passed out. Looks like I'm the one who's getting tingly inside. Yes, she would. They don't just lie there like a dead fish. A monster just suddenly. Then, I'm surprised you're not dead. So if she smells good, do I even want to know what Yuri smells like? If I don't do like the voices in my head tell me, my head's gonna split open. <laughs> Everyone's reaction. <laughs> huh?
duh. <laughs> That's right, it's always, go protect that person, or go to that town. Stupid voice jumps into my head all the time, and now it's ordering me to protect you. Anyway, at least I'm never bored. And there's one in a moment. But thanks to that voice, I'm changing from your ordinary bad boy type into a real psycho. <laughs> Maybe? Almost forgot. My name is... Yeah, Yuri. I've accidentally said multiple times before, but... I'm keeping the name, because I like the name. Yuri Volt Huga. Alice Elliot. I will, girl who's conspicuously dressed like Alice from Alice in Wonderland, but whatever. Yuri is unique amongst RPG heroes for being at the ripe old age of 25. He's not some teenager going out to save the world somehow. Some way. Somewhere. So off we go. Do, do, do. Something sparkles. Shiny. Tisk. To me, with this game, even though it's an amazing game, Yuri alone is worth price of admission. Random battle. Well, two bats. So that's more or less all the enemies here, except there are spiders. Which are very... they have nervous ticks. Now you'll see on the far right bar, called SP, that's a unique mechanic to Shadow Hearts called Sanity Points. They go down per turn, and it makes sense. If, as the plot goes on, We'll see why sanity is in play. Finally! Because, well, if you're fighting random creatures and monsters and so forth, I don't think you'd keep a level head, especially if you were someone who hasn't dealt with them on a daily basis. That's why Yuri's point value is high. He has constantly dealt with them his whole life. This is nothing to him. Alice, meanwhile, has not. Thus, she only has four points. Of course, as you level up, that will raise as well. Another fun note is Yuri's red shirt, which red being the traditional color in Japanese culture of the hero. So, so gotta find the sluice gate. Damn you, sparklies! <laughs> no good, this one's rotten. Over there is a treasure chest that holds a maiden's tear up and to the left. This was good, it looks like it worked if I had a handle. If I had a handle, I'd use it to turn the sluice gates. Now here, there's a save point. To which I can save. If you never played an RPG before, is this blowing your mind? 
So there, I have now just saved. Alright, and here is the other enemy type. Twitchy spiders! Does he have a twitch? Twitchy twitchy. <laughs> Alice is also more or less if you want to use generic fun <clears throat> RPG terms, she's the white mage. As you see here, white magic, cure. But she will be a powerhouse in her own right later on. And she's the only RPG hero I know that uses a book as a weapon! I kinda like how it does multiple blows in one turn. Instead of the one at a time? Yeah. A wolf's not gonna, just gonna run up to you and bite you once and run back to his spot. He's gonna keep biting. Now that I've demonstrated the gamut of enemies here, we are gonna edit further battles in this area out of the recording. Just to save you from uh, unnecessary pain and torture. Otherwise, this Let's Play would go on to happen forever. Anyway, here we are at the gate, and here's going to be the ultimate test of my trying to get in sync with this off TV here, because this is the only way I'm going to be able to move forward with the plot. And as I become increasingly frustrated and lose my sanity, so will Yuri. Ah, this game. Ah. I'm you not need my assistance. No, I just gotta keep it. Come on, go back, go back, go back. Damn it! This thing's pretty tough. Alright, try again. So this is pretty much button mashing, but you're trying to land it on a dot. And it, it'll go back. Gage, you're trying to maintain in that red spot. Alright. <laughs> Leave it to me. Alright, there's a larger radius this time. Yes. Good job. Yeah, finally. I suppose we can continue on now. Let's lose gate handle. One hand. Okay, perfect little rusty. An event in now. But that same spot is so small. I'll pitch a tent there. <laughs> I feel asleep. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, girl with daddy issues. Run away! Run away! Are you afraid of the dark? Box face! That's creepy. My dad wants to eat my soul? I'm gonna teleport two feet. <laughs> yeah, I know! Move greatest power ever! Flash step. Incredibly slow flash step. You have the same fighting style. He just made it so I can't use fusion. What's up? Let's kick his ass the old fashioned way. So is this entirely turn based or is it active time? It's turn based. Otherwise people would be attacking me in the middle of doing the judgment ring. Uh, use a fair leaf. Ah, I got a perfect. Uh-oh. How do you pronounce that move? Huh? huh? How do you pronounce the, the Metal Gear Solid sound? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it, we've gotten this far into the video, we've already made a Metal Gear Solid reference. Damn it! Damn. Uh-oh. It's not looking good for our hero. 